Hello tech lovers, welcome to the second lesson of the course Digital Wireless Communication from 2G, 3G and 4G LTE In this video, we are going to talk about the multiple access techniques such as TDMA, CDMA and as shown, a way to distinguish the mobile's transmission to avoid interference But first don't forget to hit subscribe button, activate the bell to be notified when I upload a new video, like, share and leave your opinion in the comments below. And join our group on Facebook, the link is in the description. The techniques described so far work well for one-to-one -one communication. In a cellular network, however, a base station has to transmit so many different mobiles at once. It does this by sharing the resources of the air interface in a technique known as multiple access. Mobile communication systems use a few different multiple access techniques, two of which are shown in figure. Frequency division multiple access, the FDMA, was used by the first generation analog system. In this technique, each mobile receives on its own carrier frequency, which is distinguishing from the others by the use of an analog filter. The carriers are separated by used guard bands, which minimizes the interference between them. In time division multiple access, TDMA, mobiles receive information on the same carrier frequency but at different times. GSM uses a mix of frequency and time division multiple access in which every cell has several carrier frequencies that are each shared among 8 different mobiles. LTE uses mixed techniques known as Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiple Access, the OFDME, which we will cover in the next course. The third generation communication systems use the different technique altogether, known as Code Division Multiple Access, or CDMA. In this technique, mobiles receive on the same carrier frequency and at the same time, but the signals are labeled by the use of codes, which allows a mobile to separate its own signal from those of the others. LTE uses a few of the concepts from CDMA for some of its control signals, but does not implement the techniques otherwise. You can watch our 4G architecture course, link up here in the card or down here in the description. But let's keep going. Multiple access is actually a generalization of a simpler technique known as multiplexing. The difference between the two is that a multiple access system can dynamically change the allocation of resources to different mobiles. While in a multiplexing system, the resource allocation is fixed. By using the multiple access techniques described above, a base station can distinguish the transmission to and from the individual mobiles in the cell. However, we still need a way to distinguish the mobile transmission from those of the base station themselves. Uh, to do this, a mobile communication system can operate in the transmission modes Frequency Division Duplex FDD, and Time Division Duplex TDD. When using Frequency Division Duplex FDD, the base station and mobile transmit and receive at the same time, but using different carrier frequencies. But using Time Division Duplex TDD, they transmit and receive on the same carrier frequency but at different times. FDD and TDD modes have different advantages and disadvantages. In FDD mode, the bandwidth of the uplink and downlink are fixed and are usually the same. This makes it suitable for voice communication, in which the uplink and downlink data rates are very similar. However, in TDD mode, the system can adjust how much time it allocated to the uplink and downlink. This makes it suitable 
for applications such as web browsing in which the downlink data rate can be much greater than the rate of the uplink. TDD mode can badly be affected by interference if, for example, one base station is transmitting while a nearby base station is receiving. To avoid this, nearby base stations must be carefully time synchronized and must use the same allocations for the uplink and downlink so that they can transmit and receive at the same time. This makes TDD suitable for networks that are made from isolated hotspots because each hotspot can have a different timing and resource allocation. In contrast, FDD is often preferred for wide area networks that have no isolated region. When operating in FDD mode, the mobile usually has to contain a high attenuation duplex filter that isolates the uplink transmitter from the downlink receiver. In a variation known as a half duplex FDD mode, a base station can still transmit and receive at the same time, but a mobile can only do one or the other. This means that the mobile does not have to isolate the transmitter and receiver to the same extent, which eases the design of its radio hardware. LTE supports each of the modes described above. A cell can use either FDD or TDD mode. A mobile can support any combination of full duplex FDD, half duplex FDD, and half duplex TDD. Although, it will only use one of these at a time. Hello tech lovers! Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and share the video. I am launching one lesson per week, so it is important that you subscribe and activate the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Stay home, wash your hands and take care.